Today I'm going to show you guys my God Roll of Vengeant Herald, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So today, I wanted to show you guys my God Roll of Vengeant Herald, and I will say that this mofo is a beast. I will go over all of the stats, I will tell you where I actually got it, and I will also give you guys a lot of gameplay of me using it. As for the weapon itself, for those who don't know, the Avengian Herald is a heavy pistol, and as of this video, it is the best weapon in Anthem, hands down, due to its effect alone. Certain encryptions only make this weapon better. Mine dropped as a legendary version, it has a power of 47, damage of 1200, an RPM of 240, 9 rounds in the magazine with an optimal range of 35. Its effect reads, Upgraded Blast Back, Handgun with Solid Striking Force. And the more important part of its effect reads, Raptor's Deadeye. Hovering increases weapon damage by 200%. That is amazing, but what makes this weapon a god roll to me is one of its inscriptions. Primarily, the first one, which gives the Avengian Herald an extra 200% damage. Now, this is stacked on top of its original 200% while hovering, which gives me 400% damage. That's insane. But it does go back to just 200 if I am not hovering due to the inscription. The other perks on this weapon aren't really that bad either. I have an extra 52% on my pickup radius and an extra 25% speed on my R1 ability, which is my legendary 10,000 Suns focus seal, and an extra 75% max to my shield. The extra 75% max to my shield helps out a lot with my storm, but this is just the weapon itself. This does not include any of the inscriptions on my other gear, my seals, or my components. I mean, to add salt to the wound, if I wanted, I could spec my storm for weapon damage and just use that all day. However, an added bonus is that my 10,000 suns does give me an extra 35% drop rate on ammo. My support seal and one of my components together gives me an extra 28% on pickup radius, so I don't have to be extra close in order to get those ammo drops. As you guys can see, this weapon melts, and I have never had so much fun using a weapon in Anthem besides LMGs. Then again, I haven't used every weapon in the game just yet anyways. Also, if you haven't noticed, the gameplay you see in the background is of me inside the Temple of Scar Stronghold on Grandmaster 1, or GM1 for short. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only location or difficulty that you can actually get your Avenging Herald, but this is where I actually got mine. Truthfully, this weapon could be amazing on any class, but I feel that it is better, and I am not being a fanboy, but I do feel that it is better on the storm due to being able to hover in the air a lot longer than any of the other classes, and on top of that, getting a shield while in the air. At the moment, I am using a 483 epic storm, but he is not completely spec'd out to how I want him to be. Because of this, the grind will have to continue. Now, out of all of my friends, I probably have the best Avengian Herald, but this is not the best one that I have seen, and I'm pretty sure that there are many other good ones out there. I did, however, take to the interwebs, and I found an Avengian Herald that was a legendary, and draw for someone that had an inscription that did 250% weapon damage, and had an extra 135% magazine size. That is ridiculous. That magazine size has to at least bring his round count to 20 or 21 rounds in the clip. Now, I'm not ungrateful, but I definitely wish that I had that Avengian Herald instead of the one I have. <laughs> Either way, my Avengian Herald puts in work, and it'll be very hard for me to put it down for any other weapon in this game as of right now. But let me know in the comments below if you guys have a God Roll of Vengeance Herald and what inscriptions are on yours. Also, I didn't forget about the Legendary Contract Exploit video. It'll be coming next, so stay tuned for the channel for that. 
And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.